this uh, this call. So let me just continue. The rest of them will check this from uh, the recording. But um, today we are introducing ourselves to just a little bit of uh, some concepts around web scripting. And of course, like we said, um, this being um, this being uh, the only unit we have in uh, in 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 web, then we are by default forced to uh, you know take or rather learn from right from the beginning to the very end of anything around or all the concepts around web, and that can be quite um, overwhelming. But I'm hoping that we can learn a few. Uh, we can start somewhere as we build up the concepts that we are learning in our own free time. So today I wanted us to just focus our energy on HTML. And uh, this is more of just introducing you to HTML. Um, focus our energy there and see what we can learn out of that um i also wanted to maybe share a presentation uh, on, uh let me check that okay let me share this first before we get to practicals. I think our main focus is going to be on practicals. But let me just run through this very fast. And um, we see, so HTML is the foundation. It's actually the foundation of um, of scripting in, in, in its own, you know, in every way possible. So if you are to learn um, about scripting, then the place to start is hypertext markup language. And it's very important for us to know that um, simply because um, the, 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 the foundation or any given web application, whatever it is, at the core of it, there is some HTML element in there. And so it's very important for us to note that. And also using uh, HTML, you can be able to create web pages, especially because we say our course is going to be looking at front end and back end. So especially when you are talking about the front end, you can be able to create quite a number of elements. You can be able to shape how the front end looks like because these are the building blocks. Um, uh, HTML elements are the building blocks of all the HTML pages that we have. Um, also, we will be focusing on tags because tags are the ones that are, uh, you know, um, HTML is represented using tags. And so we will be looking at, at that as well um, and see some of those that we can learn together. Uh, why learn HTML? Because it's a foundation of all web pages. And also without HTML, you, would, you wouldn't be able to organize text and add images or videos on the web pages. Um, it is at the core, of course. Um, the, the, the place to start um, in web scripting is, of course, on HTML. Um, yeah. So we look at a couple of tags. Um, and tags here essentially are just the the elements that we use um, to be able to represent information on a web page using HTML. Um, so they are the foundation of, or they are the, the uh, you know, the key elements that we use in, in scripting using HTML. And uh, they are enclosed using angle brackets, and we'll be looking at that shortly, um, but also, uh, there are some that we have opening tag and closing tag. There are some that we don't have, and uh, we will be looking at those in a short way. I think uh, I'll share with you this slide. Um, it's quite a long one, but I'll share with you to practice what is in this slide. Um, but as for me, I think I will try and simulate the slide 
using a practical approach to it. Uh, so let me try and do that. Um, yes, I can see a number of us have joined. Um, Winston, uh, it's good to know you are here. Um, yeah, so let me get here. Okay, let me ask, how many have used, um, how many have, have done scripting before? Either using, um, uh, either using HTML or any other. How many have used um, or have done web scripting before? If you have, just say, um, yes, I have, or just type in there and let us know. I just want to know um, where we are at. If you have done scripting before, like uh, you've developed web pages before or something like that. Anyone here? Uh -huh. Anna has been able, has done that before. Uh, anyone else? And I'm asking so that I am a uh -huh, weekly. Anyone else? I'm, I'm asking that so that I am also careful not to rush too much, maybe expecting that we have done some of those things or we have been curious uh, before to just look at some of those things. Um, so I will actually assume that we may not have um, prior knowledge to this. Now, for those who have just joined, I had shared uh, this link here on the chat box. Uh, I will be using in this class um, so you can get there and just be able to um, you need uh, depending on also the operating system that is running in your machine um, but if you don't have a machine and you're using uh, maybe a smartphone and you're not able to download um, then you may need to follow with me as I present. So um, so we have talked about HTML being, uh, you know, represented using tags. And uh, if you look at the board, uh, or, or rather at the screen right now, what you have is, uh, is, is um, some tags, yeah? So uh, HTML tag, um, you know, head tag, um, title tag, um closing opening and closing tags yeah and and these are very important so for example if i want to represent the title and the title in this case is what is going to be displayed at the top at the top of um of of any given web page when we render that uh web page on the browser then i can write there i can write it here right for example example one or let me just say my my website something like that so i would expect that that is going to be displayed on uh, on um, on 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 as a title of that web page but also i can put some body in here and uh, maybe put a paragraph tag uh, and if you look at that you realize that the reason why I'm saying we use sublime text because it gives you a lot of hints. So I can choose just from the, the list that is provided there. I can choose the one that I want to, to, to use. Um, so something like this. So paragraph, opening and closing tag. And say, so I can say this is my first first website yeah? something like that so this i would expect it's a paragraph within um within that given um page that i have already created remember this page is going to be rendered on the on a on a given browser and i will be showing you that shortly um yes i can also use tag um what we call headers so let me actually uh, put a heading up here, um, a heading like this, uh, sorry, uh, heading, let's say heading three, and then I uh, will say, um, uh, 
our our class website something like that yeah so um so that will be displayed at the top as um you know as um as a what as as a heading as a heading and if i was to even just display for you the different headings um which is the the biggest the the the, the largest uh, heading which one provides um um you know the largest font uh, and that one we can try and display maybe i can give you uh the gist of what i mean so if i had uh, this sorry uh, what did I, um so if i had this and i can give different headings here uh heading one for you just to see um for you to see the difference between the, the various headings um heading two so remember i may not uh, in this case i may not um, be very you know very organized in the content that i'm giving because anyway at the at the very end of the day you just need to understand all these concepts um but later on we'll be able to simulate something that is uh, uh, something that is that looks like what we want to see on our web page, especially when we will be looking at um, when we'll be looking at HTML. You people have a cut this morning. An answer to that question. Grace, Lois, Anna. Brian, Wycliffe, you have a cut this morning. And why is someone saying that you have a cut? So we have, uh, basically we usually have uh, six headings. So let me display those ones here. This is heading four. Then I can uh, look at, so you realize much of this is actually you know guided in many ways it's guided so quite um quite honest it's very easy for you to learn this um in five and then um lastly we have the last one which is heading six also oh, um heading it should be there Yes, this one. Heading six. And so we'll be looking at how that displays, how that looks like for, um, how that looks like from the front end. We'll be looking at that and see how it looks like. Um, uh let me say this by all means i would expect one we don't have a timetable right now that is running for cuts unless you want to challenge that or you want to confirm otherwise what i know is that there is no a scheduled timetable for continuous assessment tests at this moment what we have is a timetable for the final exam for january semester that is coming next week so uh, by that, what I mean is, if there is a scheduled cut, like one of us is saying, then what that means is, it is it can only be scheduled during class time and not during any other time, because any other time would mean we you are disrupting another class. That's what I expect. So whoever is saying that, please confirm. Um, Yeah, it's supposed to be tomorrow, I think. This is Innocent who is speaking.
Okay, let's just continue. Um, Who is your lecturer for for mobile? Did you say it's mobile communication? Who is your lecturer? Miriam. Can you give me a minute to confirm with Miriam about this, please? I'm missing her number here. Um, anyone with her number? Who has her, num her number? You just text me here. I call her. I think I'm missing the number with the, on the phone that I'm using. Anyone with her number? I don't know why there is a lot of confusion. Some people on one end are saying the cut is tomorrow, others are saying it's today. What's the confusion? Because I need to continue with the class. Eh? So I need to get clarity about this. Otherwise, I would not want to have students who are anxious that they are missing on a cut that is scheduled. So it's either I call uh, Miriam to confirm, or you confirm for me that um, there's no scheduled cut. That's the way to go. Otherwise, I'll have you here and all of you, your mites are not here. You are thinking about a cut that is scheduled somewhere. Please help me out. Either someone give me Miriam's number or confirm that the cut is not now. That I move on. Anyone, please? Okay, let me call her. Okay, I will continue with my class. Uh, I am not able to reach um, Miriam. Uh, her phone is not going through. I will continue with my class. And in case there are any challenges um, of you missing a cut, please inform her that you are in another class. And if she needs to confirm with me, she will confirm with me. Because truth be said, the class, this class is scheduled in the timetable to happen now. And so you are supposed to be here. I would not expect any other person to schedule a cut to be done the same time as now. That's 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 how we work. And I am sure even for 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 
for Miriam, um, she would be understanding um, if I explained that to her. So in case of anything, um, okay, you'll do the cut tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I was talking about these headings. Then, um, yeah, so probably I can even uh, bring this here as our first heading um, that is going to display our class. Then uh, now you look at even Sublime Text and you realize it's also helping you to organize your work very well. Um, I can use some BR tag here to just help me to break the line and go to another line. And um, uh, maybe I can say in this class, we will be uh, learning about HTML. Um, HTML or maybe hypertext markup. Backup language, okay. something like that. Then, um, yeah. So let me just try this out. So when you are saving, you are supposed to save it with an extension. Uh, so I will try and save it with an extension .html. Let me save it here. Just want to save it afresh and then open it. HTML. So let me see. I will open it from uh, where I have saved it and maybe share here on the screen. We see how that looks like. Uh, just to begin. Then as we continue now, I will be um, doing the same. Let me check. Okay, I got it. So this is how my, um, let me show you how that looks like. Looks like this. Um, so this would be the output. This would be the output of that script that we have just written on a browser. So remember, I saved it with an extension .html. So if you remember, this was heading one, heading two on tags, yeah, heading three all the way to heading six. This was a paragraph. I gave a br tag, uh, tag at the end of this line, which uh, gave me this space here, and then the last one um that i got there and so that's basically more like um like it um when it comes to tags and of course we can now dive in deeper and deeper and get more tags in there uh for example change the color change the font um you know um yeah change quite a lot of things um 
for us to achieve what we want to see. So if I was to bring this back, let me bring this back. So you realize you can change a lot of things um, on this. I'm working in so many screens here, but I hope I will manage. So you can change a lot of things. Um, for example, and uh, I'm just trying to demonstrate, so it may not necessarily be, uh, the, the flow may not be, you know, as we would expect. So for example, I can um, have um, a paragraph and within the paragraph, I can have um, italics, okay? And within italics, maybe I can have underline and I just want to see uh, uh, what that would give me. And, um, and maybe I can write in something inside there. Okay, something like that. And if I refresh, if I save this and uh, refresh um, my... Uh, so this is what you would expect to see. Oh my goodness, what did I do? Uh, this is what you would expect to see. The line that I have just added down there, it would look like this. This one here, I hope it's clear. I'm not sure. Is it clear from your end? I'm not sure but I can try to zoom in. Let me try to zoom in. And, uh, okay, okay. This one. The one that is down there is what I want to show you. This one, yeah. So I added various tags. I added a tag to make this bold. I also added a tag to make it underline. I added a tag to iterize, to make it an italic. And also a tag to, oh, I hadn't added a bold tag. So if I added that here, um, let me just try to add and refresh. So that would look like this, uh, save and uh, refresh. It would look like this. So you see, I have added a tag bold and this becomes a bold text. Um, okay, so I hope we are moving on together. Let me just confirm that uh, I'm not alone here. Um, Brian, are you there? I'll watch. Wango Emilka, are you there? Okay, okay. Um, good to know that you're following. Um, Taburuchu, who is this? Um, are you there? Wamuida, Kaburuchu Wamuida. Okay, okay. So, um, so those are just tags, and uh, we can continue maybe to build up. And let me just try to add, um, you know, more tags, and we see what we can get. Uh, so we can continue to just try and build up and build up the 
content, beef up our content slowly by slowly. Um, so what I will do is um, the only challenge is uh, we keep on uh, switching uh, this screen so they can take our time. But what I want to do is, for example, I can say I want to see this. Um, I want to see the body here in a particular font. So I can say font face, font. Um, font face is equals to, let's say, um, Arial. Okay. Uh, then I can change the font color probably. Um, and probably here say color is equals to let's say red i'm just using red because it would be a bit shouting so that we see um i hope area will make a difference um yes then i can um i can try to align something at the center so like this one i can say align center now let me use the other one this one i'll say align center and uh yeah i am just trying to go through um as many tags demonstrating them as as many as possible um we can put on the body a background um, color. Uh, first, I think let me first uh, do that using H, um, CSS probably. That would be a good one. Uh, so we have something like this, and I want to probably save this and see what will be displayed on on the screen. What difference does this make? Um, so we have this. Did I save the changes? Uh, let me open that again. I think my text has not yet picked up. Um, maybe let me try uh, so that I am able. This is more more like um, in text uh, inline um, styling, but let me try to use uh, a different option where I have um, a CSS um, style, uh, and I'll try to create that. Uh, so let me call this my styles.css and save it within the same folder. And, uh, oh, what did I do? And to okay, okay, okay. I wanted to create a new one. I don't know if that is what I did. Yes, yes. Okay, let me edit this. Um, so I'll show you what I have. Just shortly.
I think I'm displaying the wrong thing on the screen. Let me open this. Open from here, open from here. So. Okay, okay. I think now I got what I want. So um so what what I was saying is um let me confirm what you're seeing on the screen before yes yes this is what i need you to see so what 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 i was saying is um just different tags you can change the font the color and all that but i was just considering in this case to uh to use a css file and i have created a file called um mystyles.css and i would want to link this file which is the html file with a CSS file. And CSS in this case, I'll share with you more details on CSS, but CSS in this case is helping us in just styling, styling of our, um, uh, the look, the look, the feel. So the colors and all that to be styled in a particular way. So if I was to do that, um, I would do away with this, of course, because this is a CSS file. Um, and I would want to have something like this. Um, for example, I would want to have um, a body. And put this put a color to it. So color I can say red. Or you can use color codes. Um I can say font family or font family, yes, font family. To be um to be Arial. area uh, something like that then i can come here and link that particular um link that this 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 particular file i have created in css link it with uh with with my my html um uh, file so let me just get that right, the linking file. Um, so it would look like this, just a minute. Um, So something close to this. Um, this one, okay. 
um, reference this is my stance and uh, some of the sources that you can get as we continue some of the sources that you can get you know uh, very very good information to use um, is um, some of those sites that are online, for example, um, W3 schools, just for what we are covering today. Um, yes, yeah, so that would look like that. Of course, I need to have a link here, link. And actually, if I type this, let me just try this because I expect that it would give me that. Yeah, it's actually giving me automatically by typing link. Yes. Uh, so, and I can write here my styles, which is also giving me an option because um, we can be able to reference that file. Actually, that's the easier way. That's why I was really ad advocating for Sublime Text because it can be able to give you hints of what you are dealing with. Let me see if there is any change on my site. Um, what did I add on the CSS file? So um, we get this. So body font family area, or uh, a different one would be. What's the name? Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, um, then I can save font color, font family. Uh, what else can I add there? Um, let's say background color. Background color to be uh, say black. Let's do test. Now, if these two links successfully, then we would expect that um, the, 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 the styles that we have created in this file are actually applied in this file on the browser, when we run the browser. So in case you have any question, please um, let me know so that we can address those questions as we continue. But I, um, let me get there back there and see what I get. Be an error somewhere. Let me remove this for now.
So save this. This one. Try getting one. to see. Sorry, there is something I'm just trying to fix in a minute. Um, Let me see if this works. Um, I want to see if the changes I make will work. Sorry. So I, there must be an error somewhere. If someone can be able to follow through with me, that is making this not to render successfully on the, on the web. And that's what I was trying. Um, where did I make that mistake? Initially, this was working perfectly well. Oh, yeah. This is written with double S. My stats. Okay. Let me see. So um, 
So I, I really, really want us to, and I would want to know, even from where you are seated right now, how many are following as they type what I'm typing right now or what I'm working on right now? Um, if you are doing that, please uh, confirm on the chat box because I would want to know how many are also following through just a practical approach to it. Um, but basically, what I really wanted us to demonstrate is one, the use of tags, um, and two, the use of CSS file on a HTML, um, uh, you know, on HTML, so that you can be able to, um, you know, to to shape how the CSS, uh, how the look and feel, uh, or just the look, the colors, the design looks like for a file that is written in, in, in HTML using CSS. And remember, CSS is, is cascaded style sheets. And um, I will have a whole presentation around that that I'll be sharing with us here. So there are different ways that you can implement this, um, um, inline, external, and internal. But also there is, um, uh, you know, we need to understand even the, the reason why we would want to consider to use a CSS, um, you know, a CSS, um, to use CSS in a given web application. That's also very important. So how many, um, how many have, um, I was to confirm that, how many were able to download uh, Sublime Text? Anyone with Sublime Text in their machine? Is it working, Happiness? Is yours working? Uh, Wycliffe, um, let me hear the others. Wainaina, are you there? Did you download or do you have a machine with you? Okay, okay. If you prefer uh, VS Code, that's that, that's still okay. It works perfectly well. Um, any other? Any other person? Okay, okay. Uh, Wainaina, are you there? So, um, so what we are saying, what we are saying, and that 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 was the basis of my discussion today. What we are saying is, uh, okay, okay, okay. I can see a number of us are using VS Code. Probably I should uh, shift to that as well. Who is uh, trying to con? Who can convince me to change from Sublime Text to VS Code? Uh, uh, weekly, if you are the first one to to say this, would you advise me to shift to VS Code, and why? Um, <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, so basically, and I have given you. Let me share the slide. I've given you two presentations. Um, stop sharing. Share this. I've given you two presentations around HTML uh, to help you go through this. Um, so one is this one, which is quite a long one, but it's just, you know, all the, just trying to come through, to get you through all the, the elements that you can use in CSS. Um, and I'm sharing with you, uh, this one I haven't shared, so the other one that I have shared is um, is on because um, I'm, I'm I'm realizing our time is really going. But the other one I've I've shared is on um, on this on tables especially on tables in in HTML, and I would want you to practice all that using whichever text editor that you prefer. By just uh, trying to understand 
all those uh, tags and how also you can be able to use the forms. Um, then I'll be giving you an assignment around this uh, for you to, to work on. Oh, I think I combined this with another one. I need at least to be Sorry. Should be this way. So those are the two, especially around HTML. Okay, okay. Um, if you haven't used Sublime Text, maybe it's just for us to compare, no problem. But um, as long as it's a, a, a text editor like Notepad++ or, you know, the, 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 the conventional one, which is Notepad, which comes with the Windows operating system, is very raw. It's very plain that it, it doesn't give you colors of code, you know, different colors for different codes. So it, uh, if you have one that is also able to prompt you to give you some hints here and there, it is okay. It is okay to use it. It's, it's okay to use it. Uh, but most importantly is that you need, uh, you need, of course, a text editor by all means. And if at all you are not able to download any one of these, which I expect that uh, you can be able to get, I am not sure. I may need to check the product key. I'm not sure about that. But if there is anyone who has a product key, um, can also share with us. Um, so what I'm saying is, um, what I'm saying is, is that whichever one floats the boat, like we say, whichever one floats the boat, uh, just feel free to use. Because I know even Notepad Plus Plus is is a good one as well. You can be able to use it. So you just check and see which one works for you. Okay. Um, so I would want to share with you. The two slides, it's past, it's one hour past time. Wow, time flies. But I would want to share with you three, actually three slides, two on HTML and one on CSS. And the CSS one we will cover in our next class. Of course, we will go through that in our next class just to understand um to understand the concepts of css so i'll make sure that next class we check on that but i would want to share with you those slides please go through them ensure that you understand um the concepts that are shared there then we can be able to engage further as we look at those in the next class so the css one is this one let me share this. CSS one is this one. Um, where is this? I hope you can see my screen. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, I think it's okay. Sorry, sorry. I minimized that. But it's that one, yeah. So this one is uh, the CSS uh, lecture. I may want to combine all of them um, and work with them simultaneously. The reason being um, today we are talking of CSS. You know, um, whenever we talk about web development and we're talking of HTML, we can't leave out the CSS uh, version of that. So I would want to combine them as we look at um, 
at that. So those three um, will be available shortly in um, uh, on our dashboards for 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 you to just be able to interact with them. Look at all types of you know even what we are displaying today, all types of tags that you can use. Think of, for example, and uh, this is something I can show very quickly before we go. For example, things to do with, um, um, you know, for example, if you want to share something in bullets. So I can say, for example, I want to share this in bullets. Uh, and so I can use this and do like this and do like this cut this and paste it here and i will have that in bullets i can even add the tags here like this like this Then I can bring these ones in there like this. So it's just interacting with them. The more you interact with them, the more you get to understand what we are dealing with. Because either way, JavaScript and uh, HTML, um, you can't run away from them when it comes to scripting. So you need to understand them by all means. So if I render this on the browser, it will be something totally different. So this is example three. Let me open this. So you would expect something like this. Let me share the screen. Uh, you see what I mean. You'd expect something like this. The bullets. So you realize, yeah, the headings have been, have gotten some bullets, yeah. They are ordered in terms of bullets. I can change that to, let's say, ordered lists. And those will be changed to numbers. Uh, so if I change to ordered lists, this will change. And let me refresh. Yeah, it changes to numbers. So, uh, and those are just uh, basics. Of course, what we are looking at is foundational, just basics of what um, web, web scripting, sorry, it would be all about, yeah? Um, just basics. And so uh, I would want you to spend more time in today's class to just go through the materials that I'm posting, um, that in one way or the other could point you to some of those that we have learned today, but also you can explore further some other concepts that we may not have touched. I want to end here, but I would want to know if there is any question from any one of us. So next week we will focus more on CSS. Uh, of course, now combining CSS with uh, HTML and see um, what we will learn out of that. Any question? Any 
a question? Yes, thank you for your question weekly. Next week we will not meet. I need to uh, confirm that. Yes, we will not meet next week because you guys will be, um, you know, deep into exams. So we will not meet, but we meet the other week. Um, yes, so next week prepare for your exams. I don't think there is any one of the unit I was facilitating you last week. Uh, I mean, last um, semester. Um, but I know you have quite a lot to go through. So prepare for that next week. Then we meet the, the week after next week. Any other, any other question? Okay. Um, question is, is JavaScript uh, used in data mining? Um, what would I say? Um, I would say a yes and a no. A yes because, um, for example, you can create dashboards, interactive dashboards for visualization of data. Um, that is a concept. Data visualization is a concept of data mining. So you don't want just to mine data, but you want to mine data and visualize the data real time. And so if we are talking of visualization of data that has been mined, then I would say yes, you can use JavaScript because JavaScript is interactive and it's a front end, uh, you know, um, scripting language. So you can create scripts that help you to interact or help you to bring out the real, you know, the, the real-time data on a dashboard when you're visualizing the data. Um, yes, so, but as, as far as uh, data mining is concerned, and um, maybe um, responding this to this, uh, because probably, Chacha, you might be, considering that as a career, I would advise you to learn to be stronger in Python if you want to pursue data science. I would advise you to be stronger in Python than any other language because Python is key as far as data science is concerned, especially data mining. Python is very key. So I would, I would advise you to pursue or to explore further Python programming language for that. Um, good question there. Any other question? Any other question from us? So as we as, ask those questions, let me be taking the attendance for today. Um, so just keep the questions coming. Uh, I'll be back on that chat box to see what we are asking but let me also be setting up the attendance and uh yeah look at that so that we look at uh, today's session and the attendance before we leave how comes last week we um How many sessions have we met? 
Is there an attendance that is missing? Um, oh, last week we had our cut. Eh? Oh, that's why I didn't uh, check the attendance. Okay, okay. Um, Today is um, oh, okay, okay. I actually did the wrong one. Let me first tick the the today's one, then I'll work with the other one. We'll work on the other one. I think I missed out on one of them. So those who are here, those who are here, please um, type present. Just type on the chat box present for all of us who are here as I check that. So um, so on the discussion forum, please go to the discussion forum and just say what is your takeouts? What is it that you have learned today? Something that you that probably ignites you or is 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 uh, um, making you to think of something you need to learn more. Uh, or just one thing that we have mentioned today that uh, was outstanding for you. Um, so you can get into the discussion forum that I created and do that. Let's see, Angela. Oh, yeah. Oh, Barasa, you're here. I haven't seen you today. I haven't seen your name. Oh, you've just joined. Evans, Evans is not here. Hamza is here. Her happiness is here. Chalo Immaculate is not here. Winston has been here. Um, Tannington is not here. Makanga is not here. Milka is here. Lois is here. Onesmas, I haven't seen him today. Innocent is here. 
My Naina is here. Um, Kaburuchu is here. Grace is here. Andaya is here. And Whitney is here. Okay. So I have taken your attendance. Um, yeah, you can feel free to get the discussion forum, post um, one or two thoughts there before you leave. And uh, I wish you the very best in, uh, in, on, in your exams next week. They are very, very key. Remember, this is your first time you're doing such an exam. Don't take it lightly. I know people, um, can easily say, uh, you know, I will, I have the liberty to check the answers wherever I can get them. But I can assure you that it's not as easy as you think to do an online exam. Um, the time constraints are there and they are very, very strict time constraints. Uh, there are also mechanisms to make sure that uh, the exam is done seamlessly. And I, I know there are very stringent measures that have already been put in place in the system, which uh, the students are not aware of. And um, if you are caught unaware, that can be very tricky. So please take this very seriously. Revise for that exam like any other sitting, sitting exam um, so that you are not caught um, on the on the wrong side um, but also interact with um, multiple choice questions uh, just to get to know how would that look like uh, even uh, uh, you know if questions are in multiple choices but i wish you the very best in that exam um, after the exam we will come and meet and uh, probably see how far we can go I still feel we are on the right course because we still have this month and next month, um, probably. That's what I expect. So I am hoping that we can use that time to learn as much as we can to, uh, to maximize on our time. So I hope and trust that we will uh, be able to cover that. Um, yeah, God helping us. But I thank you for your time today, and I want to add this call, this call at that point. Thank you.